Hey guys, how you guys been? What's up? It's been a while. Um, so I've not been here for a while because I have not been fine for a little while. I got stung by a bee and I've been preparing for exams and I got some gigs and making videos for some guys. I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna put it up here very soon. So today we have something different. I have something different for you guys. So we're gonna talk about um, starting up a photography business, starting up a videography business or uh, the process and the art of photography and videography even yeah yeah even if not for just business alone even as a person that's interested in photography and videography for your own personal use for your business for yourself and for making content online and all the, all the other stuff so we're gonna do that today starting up and getting better getting the best out of whatever you have and what you're doing and getting the best out of photography and videography so sit tight relax and enjoy the process see you so the first step is to start with what you have. So you need to start with what you have. Whatever equipment you have, whatever camera you have, light, or whatever stuff you have, you need to start. The first thing to do is to start. I heard something somewhere, he said that the difference between a person that has a business and someone that does not have a business is the fact that the person that has a business has started and the person that does not have a business has not started. So the first thing for you to do is to start. So the second thing to do is not to put money first. Don't make money the center of the attraction or center of whatever thing you're doing. No, no, no. Money should come, not necessarily last, but not first. So, do not put money first. Money is going to come later. It's, it's part of the process. It's one of the things that will come as you grow. For some people, it comes faster and for some, it comes a little bit later. But although, you know, there are two things involved in this money aspect of photography. The first thing is, you need money to be able to buy stuff. You know run your business employ guys and all that but as a startup you don't need money first money is not what you need first you probably should probably get money from maybe your savings or your parents to maybe get um, equipment do you understand but money should not come first you need to learn the art and the act of photography and videography if, if that's your angle videography photography and the art the angles and all all, all of that stuff before the money begins to come into play. So that's the second thing to do is not to put money first. Money is going to come along the line. You can use your savings to get equipment. You could ask for money from parents, or you know, if you have other money stock up or saved up somewhere, and you are, or you have other means to get money, you can do that. And then again, let me just add that you know, for photography, it is okay to to do something else while you're doing photography. Maybe like when you're when you, when you a startup or you just want to learn photography for your hobby. Like I usually tell people, let's say I'm not a photographer. I am still going to buy a camera and get the basic um, know-how to edit pictures and all that. Because of the fact that photography is important in your life as a person. And for your family to record stuff, to the birth of your child, the birthdays, um, anniversaries, events, you and your wife travels and all that. You need photography to be able to break out all of this stuff. So you need you need even for your personal self. So like I like I said before, even if I'm not a photographer, I'm, I'm still gonna get a camera, get a laptop, get Photoshop, get Lightroom, get all of those stuff and know how to do all these things to be able to record and document events in my own personal life. So that's the second thing. So let's move ahead to the third thing. So the third step is to start with what you have. Whatever equipment you have, whatever whatever equipment you need to gather, you need to start with that. If you have a camera, okay for you. If you know, some people start photography and then they say, I, 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 I was gifted this camera by my father because I told him, blah, 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 and so many stories. So start what you have. You need to have the highest um, quality of camera or a 5 million era camera or five 500,000 era camera. Like I said, let me, I'll tell you say a little part of my story. I started with a camera that is 60,000 My camera, I started with 60,000 And basically, I still use that camera to today. Be, that's exactly the camera I'm using right now to shoot this video. So you can start with what you have. And then let me let you know something. The camera does not actually do video. It's not a camera for video, but it just has the feature. And then I've been able to tweak it, I've been able to work it to be able to do video for me. So you don't have to have the highest expensive um, cameras, the Sony A7 something or a Canon 70D or 70D or 80D or something. You don't need to have all those cameras or a Nikon 7300 or something. You don't need to have all of those cameras to be able to do what you want to do. 
all you need to do is to start with what you have know the camera you have and then you know a lot of people have this concept that um, you can start with your phone it's awesome phones give a lot of um, different stuff right now especially if you have a high quality resolution phone and all that which i currently have but the point is the point is start with what you have if you have the phone start with it but you need a camera don't get it twisted or don't get it confused even though it is just an entry stage camera like the one I had or the one I have right now, I bought that camera in 20. That should be 2014. 2014. I got the camera in 2014. And I've been using that camera today. That camera was 60k. And right now, that camera is about 70 to 100k. But the, the point is, he's been able to do all this stuff for me. Like my, my mentor, Shalani Mashal, who always say, you need to be able to understand your camera you need, your camera should be an extension of you every feature of your camera you should know it so far you have a camera so you don't need to have all the all the lights the gorgeous lights your blue lights and all those many types of light and all that no 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 what you need to do is the equipment you currently have the light you currently have the camera you currently have use it work it know it understand it practice practice it know it and that leads us to the next point and uh, point four which says which is practice you need to be able to practice with what you have practice every kind of photography you can and you are interested in understand that um, in this part of practice um, the passion and the willingness is very important at this point in time you know you have to have passion for photography you have to understand the art and the art of you know creation of images and videos if you are interested in video you understand so you need to know that you need to practice practice a lot shoot every kind of photography you can street photography you know wedding so at this point you probably might not get wedding gig but you should get yourself around photographers that have wedding gig and be like okay i can second shoot for you you know all of those things will help you in the future so first of all to understand the kind of photography that you love and that you like you probably might have figured that out by now but if you have not there's no harm in trying every kind of photography. Try fashion, try beauty, try still life, try, you know, nature. Um, and then there are a lot of guys you can follow to do all of these things. That's, that's, that's actually the next step. So the, the, the first step is to practice, practice, practice. And once you got your equipment or your camera, if that, you know, you can even start to just a camera, like I said in, in the previous uh, point. But if you just have a camera, you can start shooting natural light, you know, just get people out in the sun, um, you know and then shoot get people out in the sun maybe when it's morning or evening when it's, it's mild or you can even get it if you are like a street guy or an urban contemporary kind of photography guy you can do stuff you know shoot aerial stuff go around and do stuff so you just need to practice any kind of photography you like and then one of my my, my advice for you is shoot every kind of photography every type that you you think exist and then you think you're capable of doing your environment permits and even though your environment does not permit and then you can even go out of the box out of your box and do stuff shoot practice practice and practice so before we go to the next step don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so that when next I put up a post you're gonna see it and you're gonna follow and know because this is a series this is a long term stuff I'm gonna do it for a couple of months let's say one or two months so you don't miss any part of this so subscribe and hit the bell button so that whenever when is i put a post about this series and any other thing i'm doing you're gonna see it so to the next step okay so the fifth point is to search online go online and search for photographers that do the stuff you like you understand so maybe one of the things i'm, I'm going to do is to um in the description below i'm going to give you some that's good of um, photographers that are doing very well that you can actually follow so go online search the net now it is much more easier you know i remember 2013 or 24 2013 when i actually started photography you know it was diff more difficult to, to check stuff online because you go online and there are, there are not a lot of content and then at that point and there are not a lot of people that are doing photography and then youtube was very mild at that point you, know, you couldn't get videos like this at that, at that time they were there but they were very slim and small and people that started were very few and but now you can get a lot of content online so right now you have you have no excuse on why you're not good or why you're not practicing or why you're not learning or why you're not helping yourself or why you're not growing in photography you need to go online go instagram go youtube 
Facebook and get this stuff out. So understand how people do their stuff. You know, there are a lot of behind the scenes right now that will help you to know the genre of photography that you're interested in or videography that you're interested in. You know, for people that do wedding, there are a lot of wedding photographers, especially in Nigeria and abroad. You have people like um, Jidi Alakija, Jidi Ukwaya, um, we have, um, there are a lot of guys, I, I probably never should be to remember now. If you want to go to portraits or fashion, you get people like Maya Leke, Prince Mason, and guys like OAP photography. There are a lot of guys that do stuff. And then when you go to video, for videos, and there are really not too much, too many people doing different types of video, but you can still get good content online if you search, if you search. There are a lot of guys that shoot different stuff in video. People shoot wedding documentaries, um, um, music videos and so many, so many stuff. And then do not only limit yourself to Nigerian guys. There are a lot of guys abroad that do stuff like that. Uh, for weddings, you have Kevin Mullins. He's one of my guys that really like that does weddings. Kevin Mullins is a UK based photographer. It's awesome. And then there's this guy. There's ah, uh, Baba, 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 Baba. There's Peter McCann for um, travels and vlogs, vlogs and every kind of video. There's Casey Neistat, ah, Baba. So there are a lot of guys that do stuff. So all you need to do is search online and follow the people that you you like their content, you like the quality of their stuff, you like the their approach. You know, different guys, different people have different approach. And I, another thing I would want to warn you against is do not follow guys and just copy them. You know, follow them, understand what they do, understand the process, understand their 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 process, and then from there you begin to. You know, forge and form your own process and form your own style. So that's very important. You need to search online and get other people, new guys, and do that. So we'll go to the next step, which is probably the final step. So the last and final step is to post post your stuff online. You need to just get yourself a page or get yourself a a platform, whatever platform, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube or something, and post your stuff, post your videos, your work online. So that people get to see you and begin to get to know you gradually and understand you and follow your process and then you begin to like get followers and then very soon you, you, you probably start getting gigs, you start getting calls for gigs and say I want to come help you shoot this, I want to come help me document this. So recently I got a, I got a call from a firm, they wanted me to do a documentary for them and all that. How did they get to know me? Just because of the documentary I did for, I just started doing documentary not, not, not too long ago. And so just because of the documentary I did for someone, um, I got a gig, I got a call from some other guys and I'm going to meet them up this week. So all you need to do is put, put, your, put your stuff out there, put your stuff online, let people see what you do, let people know what you do. And don't, um, don't, it's good to get your hopes high but don't force it, don't push it so that you don't get um, discouraged or you don't get disappointed when some of these people don't come. And when you come and then you don't click at the end, understand? So I think this is where we're going to end this video. Understand, as a startup, start, start, start. You don't need too much things to start, but you need to start. So, till we see you again, stay well, stay good, and stay started. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so that when it's a new post, you can see it.